How's it going today? NFT Ulysses back with another video. And before we get into today's projects, just want to make sure you guys know that none of this is investing advice. I'm just showcasing some projects you might not have seen otherwise. And this way you can do your own research and decide if you want to invest into it. Uh, anyway, let's get right into it. We have two projects that we're going over today. The first one being Kaiju Queens. Uh, so I'm right here on the website. We're going to go over the Twitter, Discord, and I'll leave all the links in the description as well. So you don't need to go looking for them. Um, so Kaiju Queens. It's a total of uh, 3,333 collection with a mint price of 0 0.0666. Uh, Kaiju Queens is a community-driven collection of uh, 3,300 um, NFTs there. Uh, they have their Twitter, Discord, everything normal like that. Supply is 3300 mint price, status not live, everything all good. And then if we come over here to the juicy stuff, the roadmap. Um, so, phase one. Queens wants to have fun too. King needs a queen and we missed our baby kaijus too. Seeing all the excitement with them, the kaiju queens decided to join the party, generated from a variety of both classic and new traits with some fun twists. Kaiju queens are cute pixel monsters ramp uh, rampaging soon to a city near you. Um, so these guys aren't affiliated with Kaiju Kings, uh, the original project for there where they've also done babies and staking and everything like that, not affiliated, but they are decent friends. I would say there's a lot of, uh, Kaiju King members inside of the Queens discord. Uh, so I don't think you need to be worrying about a DMCA strike or anything too troublesome like that, as long as they stay on friendly terms. Uh, then the minting begins. Uh, once all the kaiju queens reunite, with, reuni reunite, can't even speak right now, with their families in the kaiju universe, there will be a 24-hour pre-sale for the queens listed for community members. Uh, the pre-sale is also going to be on the 17th, so that's Monday. Um, and then the public sale is on the 18th. Going to be the same for the next project that I show as well. Then we have phase two, 10% of mint proceeds and 50% of all royalties will be held in the community vault. We will use this to purchase kaijus that will be returned to members of the kaiju queens community. We're going to be giving these kaijus away to create little kaiju families uh, for other holders. So basically just some giveaways continuing with the market engagement uh, and uh, marketing itself. Always good idea to do this just to have free marketing. Anytime you can give something away for free like that or, oh, look, it's the first of a month we're doing a giveaway here. Always good stuff. It keeps up the engagement, keeps people interacting with the project. Um, and we're going to have special alpha channels where it's going to be devoting time and funding into building a valuable alpha network for our holders. So that's always good to create a, a little bit of a loop back so then you'll be able to make your money back going into other projects and other knowledge with the NFT space. Um, queens then take care of their own. post -mint, we're going to be creating the formation of a Kaiju Queens DAO, which is going to allow the community to determine the future direction of the project. Everyone will have a voice and a vote that the, uh, that the community vault will be spent on, whether that be giveaways, scholarships, donations, or more. The community decides and we're going to collectively develop the Kaiju Queens through a process and partnership that benefits our holders. Um... So after the DAO creation, they're also going to be doing a Gen 2 drop will be released. All Kaiju Queens holders will be eligible for these NFTs more to come. Um, definitely the big one is going to be just the stuff right on Mint, how many giveaways they do, and that DAO formation. I think this Gen 2 will be definitely a lot later, at least a month away, I would think. Um, so that's almost a whole different conversation if you want to uh, stay around for that long. So, I'm also going to bring it over to their Discord here. Um, the reason I think this project's pretty good is because, one, the people involved in it, there's a lot of uh, strong members of the community, a lot of regular Kaiju Kings from the project in it, um, as well as the supply. The supply is very low, which I do like in some of these NFT projects, um, especially uh, just in a sense from flipping and even holding. It be creates a much more tight-knit community where everyone knows everyone a little bit more, as well as, of course, it helps out with uh, the floor prices and stuff, not having so many. So it's a little bit thinner of floor, so that's always nice there. Um, you can come in this Discord. There will be a link in the description. They're running some giveaways, whitelists, and everything. 
Um, the Discord might not be open right now. I know last night they closed it for a bit just for management purposes and um, just trying to rearrange stuff. So it could be opened up soon, but just keep an eye on that. Um, we'll go over to their Twitter with their Meet the Team. It's a little bit easier to see over here. Actually, we'll bring it up here. Um, so you could check out all of these uh, Twitter uh, profiles, who the team is, and everything like that. Um, definitely some cool guys interact with them, say hi, get involved with the community. It'd be a good idea to do that and try and get a whitelist even before. Uh, anyway, that was Kaiju Queens. Definitely a good project that I'm going to be keeping my eye out for. Let me know in my Discord or on my Twitter if you have any thoughts about them as well. Now the second project. Let's get into Cool Monkeys. So, this is a little map about cool monkeys right over here, just that they're going to be building in the uh, near future. The mint is uh, the same on the 17th for the pre-sale, as well as the uh, 18th is going to be the public sale. So with this one, it's going to be a 10,000 collection of cool monkeys with over 250 unique traits. If you're an OG in the Discord, the mint price is 0.05, the whitelist is 0.06, and public is 0.08. Um, just take that in mind if you are minting public or even buying off secondary sales. If the volume does start going down a little bit, these OGs are still going to be able to sell at 0.5. Whereas your last minute sale before you're able to break even even would be 0.08. So just keep that in mind whenever there is a gap between the public and whitelisting sales. Um, so Cool Monkeys is a fun and interactive project. Uh, a community focused and interactive project which gives you a banana load of perks and benefits. Like an awesome profile pick, participation in community events, and exclusive access to breeding and raising baby cool monkeys. Through an interactive experience where you determine the final outcome of your NFT staking and monkey will earn CMB based on its rarity. Um, so these are the rarities right here. It's all based up of uh, a monkey can have four traits from eight different rarities. And we see here, so 24% of them are just going to be cool. It's going to be pretty basic stuff, just like a mask and a shirt. Then we have cooler, wild, exotic, epic, elite, legendary bananas. Um, and this is the breakdown here. So 2,400 uh, cool, uh, cooler is 2,000, 1,700 is wild, exotic is 14. Epic is 1100, 800 is Elite, 500 is Legendary, and 100 is Bananas. So if you can get one of these banana ones, that's basically um, like one step down from a one of one. That'll be making some big money, not only in the staking aspect, or even if you just need to sell it on the secondary market. Uh, so definitely would be a good idea to get one of those, or even try and snipe one if you can, right when reveal happens. So this is going to be the monkey store here, uh, basically just going to be essential for using your CMB, uh, like getting some merchandise. Next thing they're going to be releasing also is going to be staking, as well as breeding, and then raising. So you're going to be able to use uh, that CMB into a full ecosystem. We then come over here onto the Cool Monkeys Twitter. Um, I'm just scrolled down a little bit, just because this is where their gameplay is a little bit in here. Showing off their map, it looks uh, very Pokemon-esque, if I will say, the art design of it. Uh, a little bit of walking around. They also do have some farming up here, another picture of their map and everything. Uh, definitely some cool stuff. I'd love for this to be, uh, love to see where this goes off to, whether we're going to see the kind of monkey house, monkey banks, and operation first. And then if we're going to go to these secret caves later on and have some more hidden, cool, mystical stuff come out rather than just like the business staking side. Um, so I definitely think this is going to be a good mint here. A um, lot of attraction to it, as well as I think they're putting in a ton of work for it. They got some cool artwork and cool traits there. The only thing that would slightly worry me about this project is the 10,000 collection. Uh, sometimes they can have a little bit of trouble selling out, but that's why if you can try and get that whitelist or even just look at the whitelist as it's selling, see how quickly it's selling out if you think it's going to continue on to the public, um, and then you could make your decision there. I do think that volume's not going to be a problem on this project, um, but it definitely could be more of a struggle than the uh, 3,000 from Kaiju Queens. Same thing, let me know if you have any questions about this. You can put it in the comments of the YouTube video or definitely follow me on Twitter or join my Discord. I'm going to be talking about more of these projects uh, soon enough. 
Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video and have a good rest of your day. See you then.